hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i just want to talk about like how the traditional education system like what we're already used to how <laughs> it didn't really particularly like favor most not most people per se but for me the kind of student that i was it didn't really favor me so on um, the amount of <laughs> the amount of unintentional failures anyways but yeah let's get to it So growing up here yeah, and whilst being a student, I kind of understood after a while that okay, the thing about the way I was able to learn things, after, this was even slightly after school as a whole, but I kind of understood that in true, in true terms, I'm not really a theoretical learner. Like reading wasn't my favorite thing to do for most of it. So. If it wasn't a practical or if it wasn't something practical that or something that could be made into a practical form, uh, I wasn't just really down for it. And this was not even just like me choosing to be stubborn or anything, but it, was, it didn't just really hit. Like it wouldn't just really stick, right? So I was a practical learner and on top of that also a visual learner. So even if I wanted to read, <laughs> it may sound a bit childish though, but I used to prefer reading books that have like visual um, visual representations of whatever is being said, right? So like not cartoons, but like illustrations and things like that. So yeah, um, so whilst that was a thing, obviously the kind of education system that we're brought up in is not catered around those kind of individuals, right? So it's always it's more or less centered around memorization and just being able to remember and spill remember info and spill same way it's given to you same way you're giving it back to them so <laughs> yeah that it wasn't really i think my memory is not bad i'm not gonna say my memory is not bad but then there's a way it has to be put towards to me before i can like before it to stick with me but that particular thing is where I think that's where it started like going down going it was like terrible for me so subjects like my worst subjects in school from right from primary school was always mass primary school secondary school first year of university i was always failing mass it doesn't even except in work i, I passed in work thank you jesus but <laughs> now nah, like every level man it used to be so hard for me to like just actually do math as a thing like, and i didn't even i didn't like it because it was a core subject everywhere literally everywhere it's a core, it was a core subject so i couldn't avoid it if i chose to so yeah like that that lack of opportunities to express like you know how foreign schools now they have some that are centered around just art and stuff like that like art and creativity but we don't really have that so yeah it was just a very continuous and repetitive process that I really just wanted to finish early. So yeah, like for that whole thing, it just made me feel, for most of it, I just felt very, will I say dumb? Nah, uh, I was just rather, I was rather average sharp. So yeah, but like, cause it didn't really give me the platform to be the kind of person that maybe I was built to be, but more or less the kind of person that they would want you to be, you get. So it wasn't just, it was just very tough. And terrible having to fit into that format i try to fit into that format all the time maybe subjects like my favorite subject at the time was um visual arts for obvious reasons but then also i think literature because literature was also very practical for most of it it's practical and theory but like there's a huge practical aspect of it so i could really flow with those kind of subjects but but the ones that have to do with like constants you know so that's where I think my own issues really held from. But then coming out of secondary school now and realizing, okay, I studied graphic design. So coming out of school now and doing graphic design in university. And then, okay, I didn't, I, I can't count how many, I, I don't think, I, I think in my actual time studying graphic design, I only ever filled one course and that was the COVID year. It was a very hard year. 
like the first lockdown set up class is very terrible time i don't think i know a single person that didn't feel one class that time but yeah <laughs> self-inclusive but yeah so <clears throat> it makes me understand that okay i actually have skills right and i actually i'm actually intelligent in my own way I, it doesn't have to be due to one format i can be, i am intelligent in my own way at least at least you know but yeah so like you have skills you have talent but then trying to fit into a box that you don't belong into in the first place that's just where um trying to fit yourself into a box that you shouldn't be trying to fit into either way that's where problem is starts but yeah so but then it's why not i know i shall know i'm not the only one in these shoes who are blends it doesn't have to even be filmmaking or art or anything like there are visual arts there are theater arts you know there's poetry is a form of art there's stuff like that everybody has different interests and things they're interested in like that so yeah anyways that was just my ordeal thank you for watching and let me know if you can relate to this though there are probably plenty i just don't know plenty of people that would have probably fit into the issues but yeah let me know thank you and like subscribe and share and shout out to everybody i finally got to i'm now at 200 subscribers i think last time i checked when i posted about 200 it was 204 so shout out to those four people as well <laughs> anyways um thank you and keep and um, kudos to you bye